Let's do it. Alright. Welcome to the card game where high hands can bring high rewards. This is Net Poker. Well, hello, cats. And welcome to Casino Night on the Rodney One Two Seven Nine channel. We're glad to have you with us. We're gonna have an awesome time. I can feel it. We have Net Poker tonight, and somebody, if they can play their poker hands right, could win ninety-five thousand dollars in cash tonight. A lot of money here. Let's get to this game here. All right, so we're gonna go to our video poker round. That's gonna be the first round. There you have it, and we're going to meet our players. Our first player is has a lot of classic collections, some nostalgic collections in his home. He has won $7,000 in his first game. It is that 50s guy. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Well, 50s guy, you think you can pull off a second win? Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> Good luck to you. And then, you do have previous wins. You have $7,000 in cash. That is not bad. All right. All right. And then our next player, we have a guy who always liked to come to the games during the weekend and just like hanging out with us all the time. And he's all around. Good guy is Noah Longmire. How you doing, Noah? Doing good, sir. How are you? Good, good, good. Uh we have $95,000 in our bank today. You think you can win it all? I hope so. Good luck to you. And our third player is Troy Dillon, who has won Wheel of Fortune um, um, trivia today. How you doing, Troy? I'm doing good, Rodney. How are you? Good, good, good. Let me put it all in there. Well, do you think you have the knowledge and the hands to uh, try to win this game today, Troy? Yes, I do, Rodney. Good luck to the both of y'all. Okay, so we're going to do net poker. And the first round will be the video poker round. And to start things off, I'm going to give each of y'all 10 points just for coming on the call. All right? And each question you do get correctly will give you an additional 10 points. We do five questions in this round and the player with the least amount of points at the end of this portion of the round will get to put together their poker hand first, okay? All right. So okay. y'all guys are ready to, to go. We're going to get right to it with the first question. What do people right. what do people in Finland do immediately after a sauna? Is it A, sleep soundly, B, eat fish sticks, or C, jump in cold water? All right, that is uh, Troy first. Troy was first. Go ahead, Troy. Um, C. I like to go with the answer C. Jump in cold water. Jump in cold water is correct. Good job. You have 20 points. Good start, Troy. Next question. What is Madame Tussauds? Is it A, a French restaurant, B, a, a wax museum, or C, a beauty salon? Noah, go ahead, Noah. As a wax museum. Wax museum is right. You got 10 points. You're up to 20. Clear the buzzers, and here's the, next, here's the next question. In what country was Kane Tut a ruler? F Let me try again. In what country was Kane Tut a ruling pharaoh? All right, that is a uh, uh, Troy. Troy was first. Go ahead, Troy. What was the question again? In what country was King Tut a ruling pharaoh? I think it was Egypt. Egypt is right. You're up to 30 points. Clear the buzzers. Next question. What artist is famous for his paintings of sunflowers and for part of his ear being cut off. 
Go ahead, try. Van Gogh. Van Gogh is correct. Good. You're up to 40 points. Last question in this part of the round. Is this a true or false question? So think fast. True or false? An octagon has nine sides. True or false? Go ahead, Troy. It's false. It has eight sides. That is right. Troy is on fire here. Troy, you have 50 points. Noah has 20 points. And that 50 guy has the 10 points that we gave him. Okay, 50s guy, you're going to be first with putting together your poker hand. And I just want to show y'all right quick the possible uh, hands you can have on this. So let me get that screen together. So this is the board for the first round. So a pair of jacks or glass will penalize you five points. A pair of queens, kings, and aces is five points. A two pair is 10 points. A three of a kind is 15 points. A straight is 20 points. A flush is 25 points. A full house is 40 points. A four of a kind is 125 points. A straight flush is worth 250 points. If you manage to get a royal flush, not only will I give you a thousand points, but we're going to give you a $100,000 bonus in a brand new car for getting a royal flush. Oh. Yes. Nice. That has never happened before, by the way, guys. Yeah, that has never happened. Okay. All right, so 50 guys, you're going to start first. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. And you get to call any five numbers from the 24-card board, and uh, go ahead and begin. Well, first of all, we're going to go with seven. Number seven, a jack, a, a jack of spades. Ooh, that's nice. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll pick number eleven. Eleven, yo, eleven. A nine of clubs. Mm hmm. Okay. How about the number? Fifteen. Let's see. What about fifteen? Let's see. A king of clubs. <laughs> oh. Okay. Next step. Twenty-three. Number twenty-three. A ten of spades. One more selection. What you need right here is a queen. Yeah. Twenty-four. At 24, let's see what you have with 24. Hey, now, that 50s guy, good news and bad news. The good news is right there, that is the straight. And the straight is 20 points. The bad news is it won't be enough for you to win that round. Now, you can keep this hand as it is if you want to. If you do keep this hand, we'll see you in round two. Or you can get rid of some of the cards to try to improve your hand. What do you think? I think I'll keep it the way it is. All right, so we'll definitely see you in round number two. So that's 20 points, and so you got 30 points. Okay. Nicely done. Nicely done, 50s guy. Noah, you're next. You ready to put together your hand? Yes, sir. Here we go. Let's cover up that board. And call your five cards. I'll start with number seven. Number seven. King of Diamonds. Number 15. 15. Nine of Spades. Uh, number 10. Number 10. Jack of Diamonds. Okay, that's pretty good for, for a flush. Uh, let's do number 22. 22. Two little ducks. Quack, quack. Here we go. <laughs> That's a king of spades. You have a pair of kings. Another pair, at least. 
And my current age, 24. 24, here we go. 24. Okay, now, right there you have a pair of kings. That will get you five points. It won't win you the round. You'll have 25 points if you keep this hand, or you can change these cards up and uh, draw new cards. What do you think, Noah? I'll get new cards. And which cards you want to replace? going to keep the kings and replace the nine jack. No, no, no. I'm so, yeah, yeah. The nine jack and the queen. Okay, so that's two, three, and five. Uh -huh. So you want to keep the kings and hope for something better and uh, call three more numbers and hopefully you can improve your hand, Noah. Alright, I'll do number 14. Number 14. Nine of diamonds. Um, let's do 11. 11. Queen of Spades, one more card, uh, Noah. Let's see if I get one more team here. Uh, let's do number four, please. Number four. Let's see what's behind number four. Come on. All right, so you only oh. got those two, those two kings. It gets you five That's points. Right. You got 25 okay. points. And Troy, there's no way you're going to lose this round, but we're going to put together your hand anyway, Troy. You ready to go to the board with me? Yes, I am, Wani. Let's here, do it. Here we go. All right. Call your uh, five cards. 19. Number 19. Queen of Spades. I'll do 20. 20. King of Hearts. Um, I'll do 11. 11. Jack of Hearts. I'll do 13. 13. Hopefully it's lucky. Ace of Clubs, one more selection. And I'll do number 15. Number 15. You have a pair of jacks. Now, Troy, I want to tell you that the pair of jacks won't be enough. You'll lose five points with those if you keep the pair of jacks as it is. You can keep the hand if you want to, or you can improve your hand by drawing new cards if you want to, Troy. What do you think? I'm going to draw new cards. And which cards you want to replace? I'm going to replace both jacks. So you get, yeah, you get rid of the jack of hearts and the jack of diamonds. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll see how good that strategy is. Go ahead, Troy. Two more cards. Okay. I'm going to do 18. 18. You got a pair of queens and one more card. I'll do number four. Number four. All right, Troy, you do have a pair of yeah. queens that get you five points. And you win the round, Troy, with 55 points. <laughs> Nicely done, Troy. You ready to go with me to the poker board? Okay. Here we go. Now, Troy, there's oh, the... points, yeah. Yep. So the, we have the letters P, O, K, E, and R up there. You're going to choose any one of those letters on the board and... You want to choose the one with the $5,000. Which one do you think has the $5,000? Um, I'd like to start with A. No, 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 you only get one. Right. You want to go with K, right? Yeah, I just only pick one. All right, K. Just pick one and you'll get money. It's a thousand dollars, Troy, so that's what you have. You got one thousand dollars. Let's see where that five thousand dollars was. I think it was like. 
The five thousand dollars was behind letter R. Letter R. So Troy, you're gonna sit out for right now for round number two because you won that first round. And we're gonna let that fifties guy and Noah go at it to see who's gonna play you in the third round, which is Joker Poker. Okay. Okay. All right. We're gonna take a little break, and when we come back, we're gonna do um, we're gonna do five card poker here on Net Poker right after this. On the Riding One Two Seven Nine Games and Christianity Channel. Don't go away. All right, Fifties Guy versus Noah. I was doing five card poker this time. So that Fifties Guy will be playing. All right, so we're doing five cards. So we're doing five cards poker with that 50s guy and Noah. So whoever wins this round will be playing Troy in Joker poker. Okay? Now, as y'all guys know, each question you get correctly in this round is 10 points apiece. And uh, the fifth question is worth... 15 points, and the cards will be face flat down at this point. And then whoever has the higher hand between the two of you will win a 25-point bonus, okay? All right. And, the with the, and the player with the most points at the end of this round will play Troy and Joker Poker. All right, 50s guy, since you are the champion, you get to choose how you're going to cut the deck between 1 through 24. Oh. Right. Hmm. 16. You're going with 16. All right. Cutting it up with 16. Let's see the first two cards we're going to deal with. We have the King of Hearts and the Ten of Clubs. First question. Which is not a word used to refer to the islands? Is it A, a toe, B, an opposed, or C, Archipelago. Go ahead, Noah. I'm going to say B. You want B, Anapose? Anapose. Oh, yes. Anapose is a pair of points on the opposite side of the earth. That is right, Noah. You have 10 points. Nice. Do you want the King of Hearts or the Ten of Clubs? I'll take the King of Hearts, please, Rodney. All right, so the bottom cards are Noah's, and that 50 guy's card is on the top, okay? So you have the King of Hearts. Let's see the next two cards. We have the Ace of Diamonds and the King of Diamonds. Next question. Who created Star Wars? Go ahead, Noah. I believe it was George Lucas. George Lucas is right. You got 20 points there. You want the Ace of Diamonds or the King of Diamonds? I'll take the King of Diamonds. Okay, I'm trying to reset the clock. He's taking the King of Diamonds. There you go. All right, next two cards we have. We have the King of Spades and the Ace of Clubs. If the guy might want to get in there, here's a question. How many justices sit on the U.S. Supreme Court? Go, you just got it under the wire. Fit these guy. What's your answer? Come on, I remember reading about this one. Uh, I'm pretty. Is it thirteen? Thirteen is wrong. All right. Yeah, I had a feeling that was the case. All right, Noah, do you want to take a guess? Uh, no, I don't want to take a guess. I have no idea. All right, so we're gonna clear it. We're gonna reset it. The answer is nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. nine. Okay. Oh, nine. okay. Okay, so we still have the King of Spades and the Ace of Clubs. The next question is this. Who is Yo-Yo Ma? 
Is it a cellist, a rapper, or a master chef? Go ahead, Noah. He's a cellist. A cellist is right. Now you have 30 points, Noah. Do you want the king of spades or the ace of clubs? King of spades. That's yours. That's the left card. You have three kings already, but that 50s guy got two aces. Next two cards. We have the queen of diamonds and the nine of diamonds. Here's the next question as we clear the buzzers. Here it is. Which of these gases is used to inflate party balloons? Is it A, chlorine, B, nitrogen, or C, helium? Noah, go ahead. That's helium. Helium is correct. Good job. You have uh, 40 points there. You want uh, the queen of uh, diamonds or the nine of diamonds? Queen of diamonds. On your side of the board, the next two cards are going to be face flat down, which means 50s guy, you need to get this question right in order to possibly force a tie, okay? Okay, then. All right, so this one is a true or false question. True or false, black always moves first in a game of chess. True or false? Um, Go ahead, Noah. It is not true. The answer... Oh, uh, uh, white, go, uh, white goes first. Yeah, the answer is false. White goes first. 50s guy, because Noah got it wrong, you get 15 points. All right, uh, so that he saved your bacon there. Now, do you want the left card or the right card? Uh, right. You're going to take the right card. All right, so here's the situation. The only way you can win 50s, guy, is for your card to be an ace and Noah's card to not have a king there or a queen. If your card is an ace and he does not get a king or a queen, then we'll have a tiebreaker, okay? Okay. And then Noah, should you get a king or a queen on the side of the board, you'll win the round outright, okay? Y'all ready for me to turn it over? Ready. Here we go. Let's flip it over. And Noah, you win the round. Three kings yeah, beat the two pair. Congratulations. So, Noah, you're going to go ahead and play against Troy um, in Joker Poker in a minute. 50s guy, your championship ends here. You won $7,000 there. Plus, we're going to give you $10 for every point that you have on that board. So that's another $150. So you're going with $7,150, sir, okay? Well, it's been nice while it lasted. Yes, so thanks for playing. And uh, Noah, are you ready to go to the poker board with me? Yes, sir. Here we go. Let's go to the poker board. All right. You're looking for the $5,000. What do you think it is at? I think it's going to be in the K this time. Let's see if it's back to buying little K. It's $2,000. That's the second best one. All right, so now you want $2,000. Let's see what that $5,000 was this time. It stays in the letter R. It's in letter R. So we have uh, Noah going against Troy. Oh, Troy, are you ready to face Noah? Yes, I am, All right, well, we're going to do Joker Poker and to see who's going to go for $80,000 in the Deuces Wild round. We'll be right back after this. All right. Okay. We're going with Joker Poker. Joker Poker. Joker Poker. A lot of money in that uh bonus yep, round. That's right. Okay, now we're doing Joker's Poker. All right, so we're going to have Troy go against Noah. And Troy, um, 
I will just explain to the both of y'all how Joker Poker work is played the same way as five card poker. The only difference is there's jokers. And should the two face up cards be jokers and you get the question correct, you will win a $5,000 bonus for that, okay? Troy, because you won the okay. first. Because you won the first round, Troy, which number from 1 to 26 you want to use to cut the deck? I want to... Uh, wait, what? Well, 1 to 26 to cut the deck. Right, which number you want to use to cut the deck from 1 to 26? I like to cut uh, the 26. Oh, he wants 26. Okay, 26. Fair enough. And let's see the first two cards. We have a king of diamonds and a king of hearts. Is the question, in which country will you find a province called British Columbia? Is it A, Australia, B, Canada, or C, South Africa? Noah, go ahead. I think these guys going to kill me if I get this wrong. It's in Canada. You better get that right. <laughs> Do you, do you want do you want the oh, do you want the do, that one. do you want the king of diamonds or the king of hearts? I'll take the king of hearts, please, Rodney. Taking the king of hearts is still a very even game. Let's go ahead and uh see what the next two cards are. We have the ten of hearts and the nine of diamonds. The next question: In the Hunger Games, what district is home to Katniss Everdeen? Go ahead, uh, Troy. Um, what's the question again? In the Hunger Games, what district gets home to Katniss Everdeen? Um, nine. Nine is wrong. All right, um, Noah, you want to make a guess? Oh, my mom's going to kill me on this because she watches the movies. I'm going to pass. I've forgotten. All right. The answer is District 12. District 12. Oh, oh, 12. Yeah, District 12. But no problem. We still have the Ten of Hearts and the Nine of Diamonds. Here's the next question. Which fruit did Christopher Columbus discover in the New World? Is it A, the mango, B, the date, or C, the pineapple? Go ahead, I'll try. Mango? Mango is wrong. Noah, you want to give a guess? I'm going to take a guess and say uh, the date. The date is wrong, too. It's the pineapple. It is the pineapple. Uh, pineapple, okay. Yo, so that's wrong. Okay, we still have the ten of hearts and the nine of diamonds. Next question. Which Scottish lake is so supposed to... Let me try again. Which Scottish lake is the supposed home to a giant monster? I need to clear the buzzers. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. Go ahead, Noah. Let's see. Okay. Say your know. answer. Say one answer, Troy. And what's the question again? Well, I mean, I don't mean try. I'm sorry about that. Say one answer, Noah. Uh, you know what? I'm Just say the answer. You said it. What's the answer that you were saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I said it. Um, oh, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say Rock. I, I, no, I forgot. You just, you're going with Rock only? Yeah, that's wrong either way. Yeah, it's wrong. That is wrong. All right, Troy, uh, what's the answer? What's the question again? Okay, I'll repeat again, then you have 15 seconds. What Scottish Lake is the is supposed home to a giant monster? Columbia? No, that's wrong. That's wrong. You were saying it, Noah, it's Loch Ness. Loch Ness. Oh, oh, I was close. Yeah, you was close. 
All right, we're still playing for the Ten of Hearts and the Nine of Diamonds. Next question. What social media network owns Instagram? Go ahead, Troy. Facebook. Facebook is correct. Good job. That's right. Are y'all tied up with 10 points? Troy, do you want the Ten of Hearts or the Nine of Diamonds? I'll take the Ten of Hearts. You're going to take the Ten of Hearts? Okay. The Nine, no, from Gain. Let's see the next two cards. We have the Ten of Diamonds. And the nine of spades. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's see the next uh, question. How many astrological signs make up the zodiac? Go ahead, Troy. Eight. Eight is wrong. No, what do you think? Uh, memory serves me right. Is it 12? 12 is correct. Good job. All right, do you want the Ten of Diamonds or the Nine of Spades? I'm going to get myself back into it. So the Ten of uh, Diamonds, please, Rodney. He's going to take the Ten of Diamonds. Y'all still are tied up with the same hand here. Let me go ahead and give you the next two cards. We have the Nine of Clubs and the Ace of Spades. Next question, true or false? The Cuban city of Havana is the largest city in the Caribbean region. True or false? Go ahead, Noah. I'll say true. True is correct. Good job. You're up to 30 points. Do you want the Nine of Diamonds or the Ace of Spades? Nine, please, Rodney. He's going to take the nine. You got a pair of nine so far. All right, let's go ahead and get those face-down cards. That means, Troy, you have to get this next question correctly to stay in it. If you don't get this next correct, this next question correctly and Noah gets it, Noah is going to go ahead and play for $80,000. Here we go. Okay. And I'm going to have to clear the buzzers here. Here we go. Which song is not sung by Katy Perry? Is it A, Firework, B, Roar, or C, Skyscraper? All right, that is Troy. Answer. It's the East Skyscraper. Yes, yeah, Skyscraper was sung by Demi Lovato. You stay in the game. That's right, Troy. You have 25 points. Now, the big question, do you want the left card or the right card? I'll take the right card, please. All right, guys. This can go either way at this point. Um... This can go either way. So whoever has the winning hand will go on ahead and play for the $80,000. Good luck to the both of you. Let's see the cards we have. Looking at this, it looks like it is Troy Dillon that's going to go ahead and play for $80,000 because he has a pair of kings. Yeah. Well, well, Noah... You have that $2,000, and we're going to give you $10 per point on your scoreboard with the 30 points. So you want another $300, so you're going with $2,300, knowing our congratulations. Thank you, sir. And Troy, let's go to the poker board here. You're having a good night tonight, Troy. You bet I am, Bobby. All right, Troy, so this time you're going to pick two letters this time. And if your two uh, letters contain the ten, the two thousand dollars and the five thousand dollars, we're gonna give you ten thousand dollars. So, which two letters okay. do you want? I'll take the R. Let's see what's behind letter R. That's seven hundred and fifty dollars. And which other letter you want? I'll take the P. And the P. $2,000. You have won $2,750, Troy. That takes your total to $3,750 so far. Let's see what you should have went with. The P was one of them, and the other one was the E. So that would have gotten you the $10,000. But you're going to be going for $80,000 in cash 
when we get ready to do the Deuces Wild Poker bonus round. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. Nicely done, right. Trey. All right, Troy, Thank we're going we, to get right ready for the Deuces Wild Poker round. And then we're going to do high rollers, hopefully. Okay. okay, so let's go ahead and do Deuces Wild Poker. And Troy will get the, the finished title on next week. That's right. All right. All right, Troy. So here's the rules of the outlaw jackpot. You are still be working on What's the twenty. You, you will still be working on the twenty-four number game board, and the object is for you to call deuces on each row. Okay. Okay. Each, each deuce you get will bring you that much closer to the eighty thousand dollars. If you can get four deuces. In each of the four rows, one deuce in each row, you're going to win $80,000. Oh, yeah. But here's the hitch. Here's the hitch, Troy. There are outlaws. We have 10 outlaws on the game board. If you hit an outlaw at any time, you forfeit this outlaw jackpot and will add $2,500 to this jackpot each time you hit an outlaw, okay? Well, you know, Rodney, okay. there's kind of a missed opportunity with this. What I think Ryan could have called it was the outlaw's bouncy. Oh, yeah. He is. He is. Right. All right, Troy, you ready to do the bonus round? Yes, I am, Rodney. And even though, oh, in, and even if you don't get the outlaw jackpot, there is a second part to this game where you could win up to $20,000. You'll know in a second. Here we go. All right, okay. so the first step is there's six cards up there, one through six. There are There's only one outlaw in this row. Find a deuce. Okay. Um, number five. Number five. We want a deuce right away in number five. Is the deuce behind number five? Oh. Nice start, Troy. Good. Now, the next card is two outlaws and four deuces. Find that right, deuce. Don't avoid that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd like to try number 12. Number 12. I don't see why not. Is there a deuce behind number 12? Good job, Troy. You're halfway there. You have two deuces there. Now... This time, there's three outlaws, Troy, and three deuces. Find where the deuce is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to try number 14. Number 14. We want that deuce. Is the deuce behind number 14? Yeah. Ooh, Troy. Oh. You hit the outlaw. Oh. That means that the jackpot for next week's game will be at $82,500. So, now, Troy, you do you do want to get another deuce. Now, if you get another deuce, you'll have a great shot at winning $20,000 when you put together your poker hand. So, there's two deuces and four outlaws. Find that deuce. Okay. I'd like to choose number 22. 22. Two little ducks. Here we go. Is the deuce behind number 22? Very good, Troy. Yeah. There we go. All right, Troy, you guys just shot at $20,000. I'm just going to go over it right quick and show you what you could win here. You at least got a shot at a four of a kind. That's the minimum. So we're going to go through... The values right quick. Now, a three of a kind is $500. A straight is $750. A flush is $1,000. A full house is $1,500. A four of a kind is $2,000. Straight flush is $5,000. Get a five of a kind, that's $10,000. If you get that raw flush, you can still win $20,000. We haven't given away $20,000 yet from the raw flush this season yet. 
All right, so Troy, yeah. with, for the final time, which number from 1 to 24 you want to use to cut the deck? Um, I like to do number 24. Going with 24, sure thing. Now, all you got to do is choose the left card or the right card. I'm going to help you as much as I can. Okay, I like to choose the left card. Let's see what's behind the left card. You have the king of diamonds. Now, Trey, all you got to do is get either a ten of diamonds, a jack of diamonds, a queen of diamonds or an ace of diamonds. Any of those diamonds, and you have that twenty thousand dollars for the raw flesh. Left or the right okay. card? I like to choose the left card, please. Left card. We're hoping it's a, either a ten, a jack, a queen, or the ace of diamonds. Let's see the left card. No, it's a ten of clubs, but you can still do some damage with that. Okay, so what do you want that uh first two to be? Um, the two. Well, which card do you want? You can have it as either the nine, uh, the nine, the ten, the jack, the queen, the king, or the ace. I'll take the jack. You sure about that? Yes. You want to win two thousand dollars? No, 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 no! I'll do the king then. There you go. See, I was gonna help it out. Which of suit? It doesn't matter. Uh, um, the diamonds then. Going with the diamonds. All right, your next card. What's the next card? Um, I'd like to do the ace then. You sure? No, no, no. I like to do the queen then. You sure? I'm sure. <laughs> you want to win two thousand dollars? No, I'll do the ace then. <laughs> Go with the king. I'll just do the king then. Right. Yeah, cause uh, yeah, I want you to get the two thousand and uh, which suit? It doesn't matter. Do the spades, then. Doing the spades, yeah. Got three kings there. And the other card, what's that other two going to be? Okay, I'll do the king. Right. Any suit, which suit? Okay, do the hearts, then. Yeah. Well, you did get another $2,000. That gives you 5750 that gives you $5,750 for the day, Troy, and you'll get to play again to defend your title on next week, okay? Okay, Rodney. All right, well, guys, this is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and stay blessed. We're going to be doing high rollers next. Stay tuned. We'll see y'all next week on Net okay. Poker. Here we go. Okay. I'm so there. I hit the wrong thing. Hang on, guys. Yeah. Here we go. This is what I meant to do. And we're going to do the closing. And we'll get right into our high rollers. Yeah. Here's the credit. I'm going to have to go pretty soon, but I can stick around for the closing. All right. No. I think, uh. I can play high rollers now. Yeah. Here we go. I've been up until 6 in the morning. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Were you saying something, Dawn?